Spring is here, and it's time for spring cleaning. While many people embrace the idea of getting rid of old clothes and furniture, spring cleaning can be extremely overwhelming for the elderly. Anna Lazat is the owner of Right at Home in in-home care and assistance here at Madison. Welcome to the program. Hey, nice Thank to see you. you. Just briefly tell us about your company. What do you do? So Right at Home is an in-home care and assistance company and we help seniors and adults with disabilities continue living where they choose. So whether it's at home in an apartment or even in assisted livings, we can go in and give them the support that they need to stay it's where they not are. Medical. Non-medical care is what we provide and we focus on four main areas. Personal care is help with bathing, grooming, showering, we provide companionship. Isolation is a really severe problem in the elderly population, and just having somebody visit makes such a difference in their world. Light housekeeping, laundry, meal preparation, and then also transportation, so we can get people to and from their appointments in return with reports from the offices, or we can just go on outings and do fun things. Yep. Well, that is really wonderful. Yeah. At this time of the year, relating to spring cleaning, what kinds of things could you help people with? So the key point in spring cleaning for seniors is safety. Mm -hmm. Falls are the number one fatal and non-fatal cause of death in senior anybody over 65. So making sure that we're keeping our seniors safe is critical. The first thing that I would always recommend is asking for help. It's hard to do sometimes. It is hard to do, but you know what? A lot of times people want to help, they just don't know how. So if you just ask and you say, I need help cleaning out my closets, they're going to be more than happy to jump in. And it gives you not only the chance to get the support you need to stay safe, it also gives you a chance to connect with them, reminisce, share memories as you're going through old papers and pictures and different things like that. I would think the kitchen and bathrooms are the big problem areas. They are. And, you know, again, going back to those falls, those are the riskiest areas for falls. First, and, formal, and secondly, there's expired products in those areas. So one of the things that we want to look at is making sure that in the kitchen, we're going in and clearing out any spoiled or expired foods. And then in the bathroom, doing the same. Opening up that medicine cabinet, oh, looking medicine through cabinet. and finding not only expired medications, but also ones that are out of date or no longer prescribed. This not only clears out some clutter, but it also makes sure that we're reducing medication errors. And I would think if you're if you're reluctant to ask a family member to help with something mm -hmm. like this, ask, you know, uh, contacting your company would be the perfect solution. Yes, and our business is great at providing these types of resources. Mm -hmm. Another thing that's nice about that is sometimes it's good to have a new set of eyes come in, and sometimes there isn't as much challenge to working with your loved one. There can be different relationships that have evolved over time, or it can be hard to convince mom to get rid of something, or maybe there's something you want to get rid of that mom isn't willing. We can make sure that mom's wishes are respected and make sure that she's keeping what she wants, getting rid of what she wants, and finding a safe way to store the other materials. Change can be tough. Change can be. Your website is? www.rahmadison.com. All right, lots of information there. And, uh, Clean up the house. You want to come over yeah. to my house? And <laughs> yeah. Right, We've yeah. got the people to help. <laughs> w -W -W. Keep up the great work. It's yes. such an important thank resource. Thank you. It is such community. an important resource. Anna, thank you for being with us. Thank today. you. Great thank you both. Well,